Come on, everybody. Time for the show. Uh, Larry! Woohoo! This is gonna be the best show ever. I just love the people in this town. They always sing and clap the loudest. Well, they can't do anything until we get out there. I can't find the stage. My head's stuck in this hat. Ow! I tripped over a huge pillow. I'm not a pillow! <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Jimmy. Bob, Larry, the audience is waiting. Sorry, Susie. Larry's having costume trouble. Oh, and Bob overslept. Okay, My I... pre-show nap is very important. Well, guys, come on out. That is if the audience is ready. Are you guys ready? Great! Roll it! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, veggies of all ages, welcome to the Veggie Tales Top 10 Silly Song Countdown! If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile, if you like to waltz with potatoes, up and down the produce aisle. Have we got a show for you? Tomato? Um, I said, I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. What? No, you're not. You're Jimmy Gord. I know. I'm acting. But they don't want somebody to act like Larry. They want Larry. Am I right? Do you want to see Larry? Larry is currently stuck in a cowboy hat. Terrific. So I suggest you use your imagination and watch in awe as I wow this audience. Um, okay. So, uh, Larry, welcome to the Silly Song Top Ten. Silly Song Top Ten! Why, thanks, Bob. Ever since I was a little green gherkin, I've dreamed of singing and dancing for a live audience. Just ask my friend, Jimmy Gord. That's right, Larry. Jimmy Gord here, and I remember when we were kids and you used to dance around the kitchen sink. Wait a second. You're not Jimmy. You're Junior. Yes, but I'm acting like Jimmy while Jimmy is acting like Larry. Try to keep up, Bob. Ah, those were the days back when we were in Veggies on Ice. I didn't know you could skate. Who said anything about skating? That's how we stayed fresh. Good grief. Can we get on with the countdown? I'm ready now. Finally. Here's your number 10 silly song. Number 10, the Water Buffalo Song. Water buffalo, and everyone does not 
have no, a water buffalo. Thing. We're going to it's... get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? <laughs> Why don't I have a water buffalo? It's... And are you prepared to no. deal with that? I don't think so. No, Stop Archie. being so silly. But, uh, Archie, we have to be silly. Yeah, this is the silly song, Top Ten. Top Ten! Not anymore. What? Too much silliness. Oh, I now that? declare this evening the top ten lesson songs of all time. Top ten. What's the difference between a silly song and a lesson song? A lesson song has something to say, like this huge veggie hit from 1995. Hit it, Junior. What just happened? That song wasn't silly at all. Yeah, Archie changed the show. We can change the show? Awesome! Oh, no, 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 no. No, you can't. Neither can Archie. The show's been decided on. It's the silly song top ten. Top ten! No, it's the lesson song top ten. Top Archie. ten! Did you hear that, Jerry? Okay. We get to choose our own top ten. Top guys, ten! No, stop. no, guys, you don't. The show's been decided on. We've had rehearsals. Rehearsals, shamersals. Kids, it's time for the top ten hits from the 80s. Uh, but, Jimmy, I really no think... No Coming in at number seven. Number seven. Uh, we haven't done nine or eight yet. Nine, nine or eight. eight. Is a Jimmy and Jerry favorite. Stand up and dance. Okay, guys, really... I We wake up in the morning like our mommy says, Boys, are you feeling all right? Oh, mommy dear, we love being your sons. And gourds, they wanna have fun. Oh, gourds just wanna have fun. Yeah, we love having fun. We sure do. We love eating, too. Eating is fun. Eating's great. Daddy brings ice cream home tonight. We wish we had hands so we could give him high fives. Oh, Daddy dear, you know you're still number one. And Gord's may want to have fun. Oh, Gord's just want to have fun. That's all I really want. Some fun. When the real top day is done, oh, Gord's may want to have fun. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, family of gourds and travel to see all the best of the world. I want to be the one to hop in the sun. All gourds, they want to have fun. All gourds just want to have fun. That's all they really want. Some fun. When the real top day is done, all gourds.
first song. Well, sure, but it wasn't very silly. And it didn't have a lesson. And it wasn't about cucumbers. Well, no song could be about everything. Unless it has a whole lot of words. There must be a way to agree here. Yeah, but we better get a move on because these boys and girls are waiting. They're not waiting for me. I was just doing a silly song show when these guys... Ahem. Lesson song. This was supposed to be the top ten silly song countdown. Clearly, I'm right. I'm right. See, I'm right. I knew we'd agree. What? Huh? Well, now I'm confused. Larry, what should we do? Well, the same thing we always do when we can't come to an agreement. What's that? We watch my vacation slides. Oh, oh brother. brother. Well, it is a silly song, although it's not in the countdown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, number nine and a half. Nine and a half. Where is that coming from? And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laddie the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, the Song of the Sabu. It's a song about a boy. A song about a little boy and his taboos. A song about a little boy and his three taboos. The little boy who had a thick taboo, a sad taboo, and a mute taboo. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. Ooh. This is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. Sing it with me. Boy is riding with Sabu. Boy is riding with Sabu. Into town in his canoe. Into town in his canoe. Six Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A choo moo moo, a choo moo moo, a choo moo moo, a choo moo 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 moo. A choo moo moo, 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 a choo moo 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 moo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Can't see boy in three Sabu. Can't see boy in three Sabu. Sad Sabu is rowing and crying. Boo moo moo, boo moo moo, boo moo moo, boo moo moo moo. Boo moo moo, 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 boo moo moo moo. Say boo. Hippo seen by Mutabu. Hippo seen by Mutabu. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Mutabu is waving and grunting. Uh oh. Wait! What happens next? Um. Does the hippo see them? Is the poor mute Cebu successful in communicating the imminent danger to the other passengers? Is the boy injured? Why is the sad Cebu sad? Is the canoe wood or aluminum? Oh, look. There's me and Bob at SeaWorld. There's me and that bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look, a Cebu. Cebu. No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Cebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is standing and leaving. Bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, moo, moo. 
I want my money back. Yeah, that'd, that'd be good. You should stay here. <laughs> nice job, Larry. No fair, Susie. Larry snuck in an extra silly song. Susie, what's going on? Are you and Larry being fair? Well, why should I have to be fair? This is my show. Our show. Our show. But I'm the host, and we've been working on this for months, and it's supposed to be, well, silly. But shouldn't we all be working together? An important point. Yeah, but I really think and that And after if... all, isn't the point of Veggie Tales to teach our audience lessons? Yes, but with silliness. And apparently an 80s beat. Well, what if you share the show? What? what? What do you mean? Well, God tells us in the Bible to do nothing out of selfish ambition, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. That's in Philippians. That's right, Larry. It is in Philippians. There are lots of songs in the top ten show, right? Yeah, at least ten. Only ten. What if you share the show? Share the show? Wouldn't that be less selfish uh, so that everyone gets a chance to do their favorite kind of songs? Yeah, I don't know about that, Bob. Hey, that's a great idea. Guys, I'm not so sure about this. As a matter of fact, we can do more than share the show. We can share songs. Share songs? How do you share a song? With a song that's silly, but also has a lesson. Like the one that teaches Spanish. You know the one. Roll it. Sharing songs. Huh. Larry will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino. Watch the Bien cucumber. Como se See mueve. how he moves. Como un león. Like a lion. Tras un Chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Que suave es oh, how smooth his motion. Es como like butter en un on a pelon. bald monkey. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Los All the vegetables. Envien a su amigo. Their como ella quieren Wishing bailar. to dance as he. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. El desearía poder bailar. Como el pepino. He wishes he could dance, like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance. Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su Hear voz fuerte. Como voice. un león. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Que dulce es su canto. How sweet his voice. Que sopo su garganta. Parece like a chorus of little birds. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los vegetales. All the vegetables. Envíen a su amigo. Como él quien cantar. Wishing to sing as he. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino Singing cantador. cucumber. Pepino Singing cantador. cucumber. Canta, sing, canta sing. Ya. Yeah. Escuchen al tomate. Listen to the tomato. No es Isn't it sad? Él no puede cantar. He can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y luce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un solvido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, senor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Uh, I don't think Archie would consider that a sharing type of song, Bob. That was a little bit of lesson with a whole lot of silly, just the way it should be. That was a huge lesson. Now everybody knows a pepino is a cucumber. What could be a better lesson than that? Practically everything. Oh, this is simply turning into a disaster. Lesson songs, silly songs, 80 songs, all in the top 10 silly song countdown? Have we shared enough, Bob? Well, Susie, that's not really sharing, is it? Huh? Sharing isn't about figuring out how much you can get and giving the little bit you don't care about. Yeah. I know it's hard, but why don't you try? Okay. What song should we do next? Well, how about a song that teaches us about how much God cares for us? That's the lesson. And has just a pinch of silly.
I've got a great idea. Hey, Pa, Junior. What's up, Susie? Can you guys help us with the next song? But uh, I was already helping Jimmy with a sandwich. Jimmy can make his own sandwich. I wasn't helping him make it. I was helping him eat it. <laughs> hey, Junior, remember way back in the day when you were scared to go to sleep? Do I ever? That was back when I was a little boy. Oy vey. God is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. Oh, God is bigger than the boogeyman. And he's watching out for you and me. So when I'm lying in my bed and the furniture starts creeping, I'll just laugh and say, hey, cut that out and get back to my sleeping Cause I know that God's the biggest and he's watching all the while So when I get scared, I'll think of him and close my eyes and smile That's right, Junior! God is bigger than the boogeyman He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV Oh God! in your dream. Well, that's okay, because now I know that God is taking care of me. Everybody sing! God is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. Oh, God is bigger than the boogeyman. And he's watching out for you. Watch it. Watch it. Over you and me. Great job, guys. Hey, thanks, Junior. <laughs> no problem. Bye, everybody. Hey, Jimmy, you better have saved the last bite of that sandwich. Oh, I guess that wasn't so hard. Just so long as it doesn't happen too much during the show. If we keep sharing the show, there won't be enough show left for seven more silly songs. Seven more silly songs! Right. <laughs> seven more silly songs because this is the top ten. I said it was the top ten. Top ten! Right. And we've only done three, so uh, uh, ten minus three is... Seven! Seven. Right. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, number seven, seven. Is <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, number seven oh, is my favorite song. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big clown. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you said to her I'd like a cheeseburger. And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him, I can't give you either And he said, isn't this burger bell? She said, yes it is, but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said, I am extremely hungry But I guess I can't wait When he spotted a billboard for Denny's Bacon and eggs for half price How could he resist such an offer?
us with our top 10 silly songs. Silly songs? I thought I was doing the top 10 songs about food. Food? Sure. Well, Cheeseburgers, you pizza I... angels, mushu, chocolate bunnies. I could go on and on. Well, that's just it. Silly songs, lesson songs, and now, well, now songs about food? Mr. Oh, Lincoln? and those great songs from the 80s. Oh, Mr. Just Lincoln, wanna, please. they just wanna gorge, gorge this one who has Fun. Oh, this is really just too much. You know, I just wanted to do a silly song show so that maybe I could feel a little silly. Well, do I look like I feel silly to you? <gasps> oh, Mr. Lunn, I'm sorry. That wasn't towards you. What's all the hubbub? I think I need Here's a the hubbub, you know, bub. I think we need a little <laughs> silliness. Stat. I, I suppose a little silliness it. here and there couldn't it's hurt, but then it's back to the lessons. I think it's important to emphasize the importance Now, why didn't you say so? Ladies and gentlemen, number six. Number six. I love my lips. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. All righty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lip moved to the loop, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Because I love my lips. Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Laddie, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird? She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed, and I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar, and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip, and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen, and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish, and I only knew like three words in Polish, except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird. My friends all laughed. whoop -da. I'm confused. I love my lips. There you go, Susie. All better. But I don't want to wear the fluffy bunny ears, Grandma. Because they're really Oh, dear. I, I do believe she's snapped. <laughs> Gone bonkers. Cuckoo. All squishy inside. I'll go get help. Stand up. 
for Chocolate Sports Utility Vehicles. Well, this won't work. We've still got the top five to finish. Top five to finish. I think Susie needs a break before she breaks. Come on, let's get you a chair. Chairs are good. Chairs are silly. Silly is good. Now, I like cheese. this is only going to work if everybody gets on their feet with us. Did somebody say, don't do anything? Uh, nobody said anything. Exactly. Nobody said nothing. Double negative means somebody said anything, which is what we don't do. Oi. Susie's still resting, so we thought we'd keep the countdown going. The countdown of silly songs. Silly song countdown. That may or may not be about food. Number five. Number five. And look, bubbles. It's a special effect. Kind of makes it look like we're underwater. But pirates don't go underwater. Unless they're not very good at sailing, which we are not. Right. After all, we are the pirates. We don't do anything. We don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Greenland, and I've never been to Denver, and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul. And I've never been to Moscow, and I've never been to Tampa, and I've never been to Boston in the pirate who don't do anything. We just stay home and We don't do anything. And I never hoist the mainstay, and I never swab the poop deck, and I never bear the starboard, cause I never sail at all. And I've never walked the gang plank, and I've never owned that ferret, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. about what the rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate. Hey, that's right. We're supposed to sing about piratey things. Oh. And who's ever kissed a chipmunk? That's just nonsense. Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the captain. That's who? Oh, yeah. Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Bug! Yikes! And I've never licked the spark plug, and I've never sniffed a stink bug, and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball, and I've never bathed in yogurt, and I don't look good in bathing. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in that ball. Ah, uh, that was super fun. And now, in honor of silly song number four. Number four. And so we can stall until Susie feels a little better. Until Susie feels better. We're gonna teach you a dance. But we're gonna need some help. What's up, guys? Hey, Susie. Hey. <gasps> Susie. Huh? Are you feeling better? You want to help us with this song? Sure. Songs are good. Songs are silly. Silly is good. It's easy. Just help us teach the Mushu dance. The Mushu? That's one of my favorites. Then here we go. One, two, scoodly doodly do. Okay, everybody, on your feet. It's time to learn the Mushu. We start by going two steps to the right. Here we go. One, two, throw those hands in the air. Now two steps to the left. One, two point down. Now three funky chickens in a circle. One, two, three, and point. Great job. Let's put it all together. To the right, here we go. One, two hands up to the left. Point down and chicken. Point. Great job. Now when we do the mushu, make sure you join in. But on the verses, I want to see you freestyle. Chicken. Let me see those moves. Kung Pao. Chicken. Mongolian. Chicken. Sweet and sour. Great job. Guys. Here we go. Do 
the Mushu. Mushu, Shuma, Mushu, the Mushu, the left. Mushu, 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 Mushu
Barbara, you're a nice manatee. You've been so good to me. But I must go into the world and do noble things for the good of all. And you can't come because you don't speak French. Au revoir. But if you need me, who will take me to the ball? Who's going to take me to the ball, Bill? I have a new dress and shoes, a new manatee lipstick. Who will take me to the ball? I'll take you to the ball, Barbara Manatee. Please don't go. I must. Don't go. I must. Don't. Must. Don't. Don't. Must. Must. Barbara Manatee. Manatee. You are the one for me. You can't? No. I must go. Please don't go. I must don't go. I must don't. I must don't don't. Must must. Barbara Manatee. Manatee, Manatee. You are the one. Larry, what are you doing? Jeff, watching a little TV, Bob? Well, maybe you should read a book. Yeah. Okay. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bill say, Barbara, I've learned to dance. Oh, Bill. Great job, everyone. That was extraordinary. I feel wonderful. So good. So I hear you're getting this sharing thing down. Yep, and I think our audience is enjoying themselves, too. Am I right? Oh, great! But I think it's time to get on with your show. Our show. Our show. It's silly song number two. Number two! Featuring the singing sensation, Boys in the Sink!
You gotta stall. Wait, what? We're starting the high energy aerobic portion of the show, but I have a costume wait, change. Wait, wait, high energy aerobic portion of the show, but that's not a silly song, and it doesn't teach a lesson. It's not from the '80s or about food. Actually, it's all of the above. Well, uh, not so much about food, unless um, you're talking wait. about burning it off. But it's pretty silly, and it teaches good health, and definitely contains a hit from the '80s. But Larry, I really think we need to finish the countdown, and. I Aw, okay guys, you go get ready for the high energy aerobic portion of the show and uh, I'll, I'll stall. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Too. About exercising? Nah, I learned that sharing is important and that by sharing, it can lead to quite an amazing show. That's right. The Bible tells us to share, to be kind. God loves it when we share our toys or, or let others have their turn. And you know what, Susie? What's that, Bob? I think it's our turn to share with you. Me? Yep. This is the Silly Song Countdown, after all. And what's a countdown without a number one? Number one! Seriously, stop it now. The number one song! 
I almost forgot. Okay, everybody, in your places. Costumes check, sound check, lights check. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the number one silly song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, rutabagas and green beans of all ages. The moment you have all been waiting for. The number one silly song, the hairbrush song. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh, where is my hairbrush? that God wants us to share instead of being selfish and trying to get our way all the time. And we also learn that God wants us to be true friends, united and there for one another in our times of need. We also learn that if Bob's not out getting ice cream, he's probably out getting cake. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, remember, it's great to share and to have such wonderful friends.
special. And he loves you very much. Did you guys have a good time? All right. Well, I think if we scream really loudly one last time, we can convince the veggies to do one more number. On three, ready? One, two, three! <laughs> You guys got it. Make sure you sing along. If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile, if you 